We all do it. Hey, what you doing? I'm going on a run. But we hate running. I know. And we're really bad at it. I know, that's why I'm going on a run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. how about instead we eat the last cookie and watch all of Downton Abbey? Please. Fine. Yes, okay. But keep those clothes on so everyone thinks we worked out. We all have to fight the constant battle of getting in our own way of progress. And whether it's because of fear or self-doubt or bad habits or my personal favorite, procrastination. Okie dokie, I am going to sit down and plan this video. Instagram has so much good inspiration. What, when did she turn one? Ooh, who this? That's not real. There's no way that's real. For me, it's a little bit of everything. I am really addicted to my phone. I love watching TV and I watch it way too much. And honestly, sometimes I don't have a for sure goal in mind and so distractions come and I just welcome them with open arms. But honestly, we can't blame these devices or distractions. We can't blame them on my lack, for my lack, on for my lack of <laughs> we can't blame these things on the fact that we are lacking productivity. It's not their fault, it's our own fault. It's me fighting me. It's, it's this constant battle. I really do want to be healthy and fit. I really love it when I go to bed on time. I really love making and editing videos. But I'm constantly getting in my own way. Oh, I should go shower. What day is it? I could go another day. Oh, uh, we have that dinner tonight. I don't want to shower. But a hot shower does sound kind of good. Ugh. But this bed's so comfy. I probably should. But I don't want to. What time is it? Oh, dang it. I'm going to be late. It's like I use just as much energy and time wasting thinking about it when if I would have just jumped up and done it when I planned on it or when I thought of it, it would have been done faster. I would have felt really proud of myself and it probably would have catapulted me into a day of productivity. Plus, after I finish all these priorities, I probably would have enough time to do all the leisurely things that I love, like sitting on my phone or watching a show. But what's a busy mom of three to do when I have all these dreams and aspirations and things that I wanna build my life into, but I'm stuck behind these bad habits and past failures? First things first, I'm learning to forgive myself. I know it's been a while since we've talked like this, but I just, I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way that I've been acting and for what I've put you through. And I just hope that you can forgive me. Psh, girl, I forgive you, but you don't need to apologize because you are awesome, you're doing a great job, now you just get out of here and go conquer the world. Go. Yeah, that's right. You just get out of here. For real though, it's like an actual practice that has been so good for me that I've been forgiving myself, accepting my past mistakes, and I'm moving forward. So honestly, this is what I've been doing with my life. I figured out how to forgive myself, and then just last week, I've identified something in my life that I can eliminate. And what that is for me is watching TV. I honestly watch a, really, like, a lot of TV. But the problem was, I was watching it as I was doing something productive, like I'd be folding laundry or doing the dishes, you know, good things that it's fine to watch TV while you're doing that. But then I would continue finishing the show or watching another show um, after that. I wouldn't turn it off. And so what I've started to do is I've eliminated that until I have my priorities finished. Figuring out what your priorities are seems really simple. And sometimes it is, like making sure my kids are fed, making sure the house is taken care of, those types of things kind of come easily for me. And so it's more of the secondary priorities that is, it was hard for me to figure out what to do. So what I found myself doing recently is looking to the future. What would your future self tell you to change so that future you is a happier, more fulfilled person? So does this mean that you can never indulge in a yummy treat or have a lazy afternoon with your kids? Of course not. It's about making sure you know who's in charge of your day. Don't let the fearful or the lazy or the addictive version of you win your day. Let the best version of you win your day. We need to get out of our own way and let our true selves take the wheel and drive us to the future that we want. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but I love it. Thanks for watching everybody. I had a lot of fun making this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I have yet to come up with a catchy end phrase. So for now, just remember that if you do your best today, the world will be a better place. We'll see you next time, bye. Oh, are you doing a dance? <laughs> oh, dance party.
<laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.